All right, people, welcome back. More Fake Card Friday. So we're looking at Zushin. Yeah, well, I know we already looked at it on card review, but this is the fake card that was sent to me. So we're going to go ahead and compare and contrast those two, these two cards. Uh, apparently, he was in 5Ds. I don't remember him in 5Ds. I really don't. Like, it's been, uh, I, to say that, you know, I watched 5Ds, yes, but recently, no. Year, year, years ago. So to remember as someone as obscure as Zushin, who's apparently been in like three episodes and has some references in Arc V? I mean, I don't know. If you say so, I don't know. I, I've seen every episode of Arc V and I do not know where the references are at. But uh, apparently he's in 5Ds. Don't remember him. But anyway, here is the fake version of uh, Zushin. A uh, different card art, which is uh, fine. You know? uh, Zushin the Sleeping Giant. Earth level 10 still. Yeah, warrior, fat. Yeah, zero attack, zero defense. Okay. Uh, cannot be normal summoner stat. All right. Must be special summon from your hand by attributing one level one monster that has remained face up on your side of the field for ten or more turns, counting both players' turn. Alright, this is where we're getting a little bit different. So of course the real Zushin, it's a level one normal monster, so you ain't getting anything out of that. Well, this Zushin's like, hey, as long as it's a level one monster, I don't care. It can even be a level one monster with an effect. Like, that's fine. And then it counts for both players' turns. So while the other Zushin, you know, just reveal, put a counter. Reveal, put a counter, and if you only have one Zushin at the time, it will take you 20 turns counting you both. This one counts both players, so 1, 2 your opponent, 3 you, so it's kind of like Final Countdown. Uh, I am also aware that some of you guys commented and said, hey, if you have multiple Zushins, multiple Zushins can put counters on. So pretty much, if I have a level 1 normal monster and 3 Zushins, I can be like, reveal, put a counter, reveal, put a counter, reveal, put a counter. So instead of waiting, you know, uh, 10 of my turns, I get it down to what, 4? Four? So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. You know, uh, four to five turns, depending on how many Zushins you have. So, you know, that that's actually uh, pretty decent when it comes to summoning him. But this, this I'd say this is a little bit easier. It can be any level one monster, and it counts both your your opponent and your turn. All right. You cannot be special summoned by other ways. Uh, the special summon of this card cannot be negated. Okay. So, I believe it's an inherent summon. Uh, the other Zushin is he just unaffected by card periods. Uh, cards period so I believe you can still stop his summon because I believe that you could stop like you could solemn warning like a uh, towers or something So I believe you can still stop the summon But uh, this card says that the special summon of this card cannot be negated so you can't stop it. So that's okay so That's different uh, when this card is special summon cards and their effects cannot be activated So you cannot negate the summon card effects can't be activated. You cannot do nothing until Zushin has resolved his summon All right uh, this card battles an opponent's monster until the end of the damage step. This card gains attack equal to the attack of the opponent's monster plus 1,000, and that monster's effects effect effects is negated. Okay, uh, so that's different. You know, I mean, of course, you go ahead and gain a thousand, which is fine. But the other Zushin doesn't negate the monster's effect that it battles. You know, so this this Zushin does. So you know, a little bit of difference there. And this card cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects. So the other Zushin says, I'm unaffected by card effects. This just, just can't be targeted or destroyed by card effects. So uh, if you can find a way to uh, affect it by not targeting or destroying it, which of course, i.e. Igneister, then uh, get fucked, Zushin. So this is a little bit weaker. You know, you know, um, uh, Tiramisu and Ignister say hi, and it's just like, yeah, Bobby. The real Zushin's like, I'm unaffected by it card effects. So you don't have to do this. I'm unaffected by this. It just says it can't be targeted or destroyed by card effects. So all you have to do is just get rid of it by not targeting or destroying it. So Ignister. So uh, final say, which which Zushin do I say is stronger? I would definitely have to say the real one. The real one I say is stronger, especially with the whole counter thing and doing multiple Zushins. You could probably bust out that Zushin much faster than you could bust out this one. While this one is nice and it good, does count both players' turns, so pretty much equating to five of your turns, which is pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Um, the other Zushin, just being straight up unaffected by card effects is, of course, much better. Uh, because, of course, Ignister is still a thing and you'll get racked by it. Uh, and while this card is nice where it's like, hey, you know, I'm also negating the monster's effects. Um, I shouldn't have to worry about that when it comes to Zushin the Sleeping Giant. I mean, uh, I guess maybe, how, how would this work against, how would this work against Utopia the Lightning? At the end of the damage step, this card gains attack, but I guess it's at the end of the damage step, which means that Utopia Lightning says you can't even go off, so I'm assuming that this version of Zushin still gets fucked up by Utopia the Lightning. Just wanted to go ahead and say that both of them do. 
But uh, negating the effect, that's not too terrible. In case that has something that floats or anything along the line, B8 or anything, you just negate that monster's effect. And making sure you cannot touch this card when it's summoned. Uh, you can't negate it summon. Um, cards or effects cannot be activated, so that's pretty nice as well. So unlike the other Zushin where, you know, you go through all that time and effort to summon it, it's an inherent summon, and you get hit with like a solemn warning or solemn strike and get wrecked. So, like I said, there's given text for both Zushins, but uh, the creator of this card, uh, you, you pretty much got it pretty spot on when it comes to uh, making Zushin, so I'll give you some credit. You know, it was just kind of odd that it came down like that. It's like, hey, you know, do a fake card Friday this. It's like, sure, Zushin. And then I saw Vexicus put up a video. It's like, hey, look at the Zushin card. It's like, oh, that seems familiar. Wait a minute. So I was like, all right, so we'll go ahead and do card review and we'll do the fake card Friday. So tell me what you guys think about this version of Zushin and which version do you think is better, this version or the, the fake card version? So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Fake Card Friday. Of course, I'll be back next Friday with another Fake Card to look at. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And uh, yeah, see you guys next Friday with some more uh, Fake Card Friday. Thanks for watching.